I'm Deborah Priestley. Okay. Uh, I'm the artist who created this piece uh, in memory of my great uncle and all the men he served with. I'm Tony Mitchell, a uh, member of the state of Tennessee's uh, state park system, mm -hmm. uh, working as a park ranger and part of our mission is to protect and preserve these unique examples of, of culture. Um, so we portray and present uh, these formal presentations in order to stimulate of the art that you've presented. Well, I was quite moved when I ran into you uh, to see them come to life through, in my opinion, through the work, but also in your flesh and blood standing here and your contribution to um, keeping that history and that memory alive is really powerful. Uh, my mother's side uh, has a strong tradition of of keeping ancestral um, connections and photographs when possible. Uh, this photograph hung in my grandmother's bedroom for years, so I, I sort of grew up with the photograph. Uh, when she passed away in 1990, this is one of the things I inherited. Uh, it's a classic panoramic photo, uh, about 48 inches um, by 8 inches. And um, she would always say, there's your Uncle Noe, right? So, and it's just a little tiny faces in this photograph. Um, years later, I unrolled the photograph and I thought about these men, but I really had a sobering moment that, that day, it had to be about uh, 2013, and I wondered how many people remember these men, and uh, it made me want to pay homage to each of them and not just my, my uh, great uncle. Much of my work has to do with ancestry, memory, cultural preservation, and when I do these works, they spark a dialogue that's larger than myself. And I feel like this is American history, it's shared history, it's not just my personal history. Was there ever information that was absorbed mm -hmm. relative to uh, the African Americans in general during World War One? Or no, I don't think I ever studied uh, much about World War One, and certainly not an African American perspective. And that's probably part of the intrigue, that is part of the intrigue now, that I just feel like I'm, I'm learning so much. I'm honored to simply um, have a profession where I also am working to protect and preserve uh, this unique culture, mm -hmm. uh, a culture within a culture. Mm -hmm. In order to relay it to future generations, it has to be preserved. Yes.